Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I just went to the um, Play Store on this phone right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 405. And uh, I noticed that it had done a scan at 3.34 a.m. But I would have been asleep at that time. And that was the time that I woke up this morning. Yes. Uh, considering I don't have Wi-Fi and there's no possible way to connect to the Internet. Yes. Is anybody uh, accessing my phone without my knowledge when I'm asleep at night? Poop. Now, this Google Play? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, um, it's kind of uh, an obligation of those that have the Android operating system. Yes. And um, I'm a little concerned that somebody has intentionally mm -hmm, been accessing uh, the Internet or websites without me having paid for yes, uh, the actual accessibility. Mm -hmm. Now, this just restarted by itself, and I don't know why that took place. No. But for some reason, I'm having a problem with this phone. <laughs> now, how do we find who it is that is intentionally messing up other people's personal electronics? Yes. At 3.34 a.m. while they're asleep? Yep. <laughs> now, I could go through OliPen, or I could look at the internet uh, that could be available that um, is not being paid for? Yeah. <laughs> could you call away broadband for me? I'm, I'm going to download an application for their uh, various products. <laughs> and the OliPen, mm -hmm. .net, coach. You know, without valid identification, I'm going to have some difficulty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, being able to be a customer, a, a client of theirs. <laughs> Now, um, I did upload some videos to the YouTube, the 414, yeah. and um, I did go to the PUD and get an application for um, utility service. Mm. Now, it says two valid forms of government-issued identification, yeah, and um, since it's 4 o'clock and I'm just getting going, yeah. <laughs> We'll start with this utility, and then I'll go on the Google. Attention, please. Attention, please. Attention, please. Oh, code red, all clear. I, code red, oh, all clear. Oof. Code red, all clear. Everything was clear. It was so good. <laughs> they had a code red, whatever that might yeah. mean. Yeah. Now I'm sitting here with approximately um, 11 cents in my pocket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm thinking that the police and the sheriff departments do know mm -hmm. Officer Goiter or your twin look alike. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm kind of a little upset as I start going through the various applications for, well, broadband, telephone, mm -hmm, Wi-Fi, poop. Uh, and then there are all kinds of other services. There's cable and satellite. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, why don't you get me the applications that are available to every resident of the United States <laughs> that if they had a valid form of government issued identification? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going to get out those failure to appear arrest warrants. Yeah. And then we're going to look at exactly how many actual utilities that you are knowingly obstructing me from being able to be a client of in every city. Yes. In every county, mm -hmm. every state of the United States. Now, it includes XFA, enables you to view all things. Oh, 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 look, it requires subscription. Okay, then exit that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, oh, oh, oh mm -hmm. I'm going to have to open this using something else. This is one of those um, forms that you could fill in mm -hmm, while on the internet. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Since I can't move any place else and I'm obligated to stay in a homeless shelter or a location where the actual landlord pays the utilities, mm -hmm. I would say that I'm being obstructed from being able to purchase any utility, yes, cable or satellite television, mm -hmm. any internet service, yes, Wi-Fi service, Deutsche Telekom, ouch, mm. 
Well, we'll just start going through all the various applications where it is a condition. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to have a valid form of state issue. Do you think right now it's going to get considerably worse uh, during the afternoon? 